Hi everyone, I'm Dre and welcome back to my reading self journey. And for today's video, I will be sharing to you the books that I want to read in the last month of this year. Because, come on, we know that everyone wants to get rid of 2020 already and go to 2021 and we just want things to end, you know, but not our reading, not our reading. So I have a couple of books here that I won't be reading for this month. So I have a couple of books here that I want to read for December and since it's the holidays, I want to, you know, get comfy with my books this last month of the year um, and celebrate the holidays with my books and my family. And yeah, even though we have lots of work to do this December, uh, even on the like holiday vacation who what we don't know them we do not we still have i think tons of work to do even on christmas or on the christmas week but i will not stop that from enjoying my book so here is the first book that i am or will be going to be what I am reading this December, that is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco, and I am body reading this with Kui Ray from Ravens PH, and I am already on chapter 15, and so far, it's good, but I think it's my one brain cell that's not working, because I cannot understand everything, <laughs> because I'm not really a fan of fantasy, but most of the things that I will be showing to you are fantasy, so who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Why am I doing this to myself? Because why not? So the bonage is about Thea who accidentally resurrects her brother from the grave and she has discovered that she is a witch. So she is a different witch among her sisters. So um she was like discovered by Lady Michaela 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 and trains her to be a dark, what do you call that? Dark Asha or Bonich. And we will be discovering how Thea would be discovering her own self. How to be like a Bonich. So, yeah. I'm hoping to finish this so I can move on to the second book. Or maybe, you know, have the third book before I read the second book. So, yeah, and it is, uh, we're like done on the first week of December, but I am still not done. I am still not done. Next book is a book of the month for our book club readables, and that is Circe, 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 so Circe by Madeline Miller, so this is a story about Circe. A very known character in the Greek mythology, but here we will discover more of what Circe can give, or who is Circe, and you know, yeah. <laughs> so here we will be focusing on the story of Circe because we know that Circe has always been a part of the stories of a lot of familiar. Uh, Greek mythology characters or heroes such as Odysseus and I think also Babylus and Icarus and here it is going to be like a refreshing read wherein we discover more or read on a character that is always just passing by on the stories of other great um, great names of the Greek mythology so we are going to be having a discussion of this book on my channel on December 21st that is a Monday at 7 p.m. so if you are interested in reading seriously, I hope you can join us on our discussions. Next book is a book that I've been wanting to read for how long now and I hope to read this by this month. And that is John Green's Turtles All the Way Down. So, I am captivated by the story or reading Turtles All the Way Down after watching John Green's um, video of him reading the first chapter of this book. 
So I'm very interested after watching that first chapter and it's John Green himself who have read it. So yeah, and I believe this book discusses um, OCD or Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, which I believe John Green also has. So I think this is something uh, very personal from John Green and I am hoping to be to to read this book because I am very interested in making myself aware of different um, mental illnesses and how different people deal with them and I want to be aware what those are about well, um, by reading um, books and then I think this or books like these will help us aware of the, the little things that are kind of not like okay saying because uh, like here we often hear or see people like saying ay OC kasi ako sa ganito ko, OC kasi ako sa ganyan nagtitrigger yung pagka OC ko kasi hindi pa like um I think for me it's not correct to say that na OC ka or may OC ka or something like that because People who are diagnosed with that illness really has a tough time dealing with their condition because having OCD does not always mean that your pens should be aligned or your books or the spine of your books are aligned in your bookshelf. It's not always like that because those are the things that they cannot control because it's how their, their mind works even though they don't want to do it, still they have to. You know, so it is good to let ourselves be aware of things like that so we know how we would handle like different situations or how we would um, try to help others feel comfortable because yeah and the next book that I am planning to read this month because this big book has been staring at me always and that is Six of Girls by Libra Dugo so, all I know about this book is that it is the favorite duology of Reed with Cindy. That's why I bought this, because of her. <laughs> yeah, so Six of Crows is about six individuals who plans to do a heist. So, that's, that's all I know about Six of Crows. Yeah, and I like how big this book is, because look at the fo- oh. I thought it will be having a bigger font, but still. Next is A Court of Thousand Roses by Sarah J. Mass, which is going to be my first SJM or Sarah J. Mass read. I have started this already and I hope to finish this by December because I'm already on page 28 on chapter 3. And I believe this is a fairy tale retelling. Yeah. So, um, so far, um, the female character is quite okay, yeah, and uh, I kind of like understand the writing or what's going on within the early chapters. So I hope I will be finishing this soon and looking forward to finish the whole trilogy of Court of Thorns and Roses because I believe the a fourth book is coming up. I think, yeah. And the last on my list is The Invisible Life of Adela Rue by V.E. Schwab and I'm really looking forward to reading this within the year because my trend. Because I am hearing a lot of things about this in the book community and I want to, you know, dive into this story and discover what this book has to offer. And I believe this is about Ade LaRue who made a deal with the devil to be, you know, to be immortal or, or live forever. But here's the catch. She cannot be remembered by the people who met her. Until one day, after like a hundred of or hundreds of years, uh, she discovered a secret bookstore, and someone from that bookstore uh, bookstore remembered her. So we are going to discover what it felt like um, on what it feels like to be remembered by someone after 
living uh, hundreds of years because you um, um, I think for me there comes like a time wherein we want to be remembered or we want to make a mark like in the world or in and where we are now um, we are always doing things that we want to be our like mark to those people or to the people around us and imagine not being able to be remembered for how many years and you, you cannot die you know after being remembered after how many years how, on how would it feel like you know, I want to discover that in this book because all of us want to be remembered somehow and yeah, am I making sense? No? Oh, okay, yeah. But one thing's for sure, I really, really am interested in reading The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue and it is by V. Schwab, so <laughs> yeah. So, these are the books that I will be trying to read this month, and these are quite chunky books, so, wish me luck, I hope, I hope to finish in, no, even this, mm, these are not a lot, but these are quite big books, so I hope to finish them by this year. Or by this month because I am really really looking forward to December being my like month of reading and just relaxing and be with the family staying at home and keeping safe you know because it is the holidays and although we cannot like do stuff that we normally do on our reveal celebration of the holidays or of Christmas still there are a lot of things to be thankful for this year so yeah, I hope I could spend my time with these books and with my family during the last month of the year. And let us all look forward to another great year together. So stay safe, stay home, read, and read for your own sake. Bye!